Let's start towards the back edge of the mat, child's pose. Knees out wide, corner edges of the mat. Inhale as you lift and lengthen through the torso. In the next exhale, walk the hands to the front edge of the mat. Melt the forehead to the floor, the belly to the thighs. And find your breath. Arriving on our mats, arriving in the practice, letting go of the morning, the evening, whatever time of day it is, letting go of everything, letting go of the day before, letting go of the week before, and surrendering completely to the present moment. Option if you'd like to, to lift up the palms of the hands, come up onto the fingertips. Keep extending the arms forward and then using the fingers to bring pressure and weight back into the hips, back towards the heels, towards the back edge of the mat. One more full breath. Open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Come up through tabletop. With the fingertips facing forward, shoulders stacked above the wrists. Tuck the toes, engage through the core, round through the upper back and lift the knees two inches off the floor. Inhale. Exhale, keep pushing the floor away. Full breath in. Full breath out, bring the knees back down. From here, extend the right foot towards the back edge of the mat, toes stay tucked under, and press the heel towards the back edge of the mat, pushing through the palms of the hands. Inhale. A gentle hamstring stretch, exhale. Opening up through the backs of the legs. Bring the right knee back to the left. And then extend the left toes, back edge, plug the heel down, tuck the toes and pushing through the palms of the hands, engaging through the core. Coming back to centre, tucking the toes, lifting the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, higher plank, stack the shoulders over the wrists. And then exhale, bring the knees back down, tabletop position. Inhale, extend the right toes back. Exhale, draw the knees back together. Inhale, extend the left toes back. Exhale, back to centre. One round of cat-cow. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, curl and round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. And as you exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto the toes, roll forward, stack the shoulders above the wrists, high plank. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto the toes, roll forward. And as you continue to inhale, lower the hips down towards the wrists. Keep the knees and the thighs lifted and open up the heart. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. We'll move through a couple of body waves like that. Inhale as you move forward and lower the hips down towards the wrists. Open the heart. 
Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Moving with the breath, moving nice and slow, maybe closing the eyes and becoming aware of how it feels through the body to become aware, slow and mindful of every movement. Moving with the breath, you can become dramatic with your movements. Really articulate through the spine. Moving one vertebra at a time. Inhale, right foot to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee and open up the hip. Draw the right heel to the sit bones, the right knee to the sky. Inhale, extend the right leg. And exhale, knee to nose, tiger curl, push the floor away. Inhale, extend it back up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow across the body. Inhale. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Hold for the inhale. And on the exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Lizard lunge, opening up through the heart space, keeping the back knee lifted, plugging the back heel towards the back edge of the mat and lengthening through the back of the neck, through the spine. Keep the right knee hugged into the right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale as you step the left foot outside the left hand, Malasana squat. Hands to prayer, elbows to the inside of the knees and lift up through the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Draw the hands and the wrists down in line with the elbows. Inhale. Exhale, plant the palms and step or jump back through your vinyasa. Optional, lower the knees down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths to reset. Exhale for one. Exhale, two. Exhale, three. Inhale, raise your left foot to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the left knee, open up the hip and draw the heel towards the glutes. Keep pressing evenly through the palms of both hands as the left knee comes to the sky. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, tiger curl, knee to nose, push the floor away. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, twist across. Stack the shoulders above the wrists. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, hold. And as you exhale, step the left foot outside the left hand. Keep the right knee lifted, open up through the heart space. Keep drawing the left knee in towards the left shoulder and the right heel towards the back edge of the room. Inhale. As you exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, Malasana squat. Hands to prayer. Full breath in. Full breath out. Breathe it in, lift through the chest. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips lift. 
Three breaths. Exhale and settle. In for two. In for three. Open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Bend the knees, look forwards. Step, jump or float, top edge of the mat, however you like to travel. Inhale, halfway lift, broaden the collarbones, lead with the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roots arise all the way to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, Utkatasana. Toes together, heels slightly apart. Palms facing towards one another. Fingers active and energized. And then sink the weight back into the heels. As you lower down into the hips. Keep lifting up through the heart space. Inhale, exhale, connect back to the breath, draw the knees in towards one another and the glutes apart and then without physically drawing the kneecaps apart, energetically draw the knees apart and the glutes together and from here you can bring the weight back into the heels and sink down a little deeper, full breath in. Exhale, hands through heart, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, through your vinyasa. Step or jump back through high plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands. On the inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Exhale and soften. Straighten through the back leg. Back heel plugs towards the back edge of the room and finding a depth through the front thigh. Relaxing through the front toes and dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. Exhale as you hinge at the hips. Arms and fingertips come towards the front edge of the mat. Superman or superwoman. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Back heel turns flat, bending into the front knee and looking over the front fingertips. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, turn to the left edge of your mat, toes out, heels in. Inhale, arms rise. And then exhale, sink down, goddess squat. Hands come to center at prayer, elbows stay out and lifted, and the hips sink down in line with the knees. Inhale, straighten through the legs, maybe come up onto the toes, and the hands come out and up. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. Optional, lift up the front heel if you like. And then exhale, hands come down, frame the front foot, and stepping back through your vinyasa. Rather than stepping back and sliding the foot back, try to see if you can push through the palms, lift up the front foot first, and then step back without making a noise. Option for your version of vinyasa, one-legged chaturanga, both feet down, scorpion chaturanga, or missing it entirely. And coming straight back to downward facing dog. Knowing that child's pose is always there for you if you'd like it, it's a perfect rest pose. So even if you don't feel like you need a physical rest, sometimes it's nice to just come back to child's pose 
for a rest of your own mind to get away from the ego. Inhale. Exhale to reset. Inhale, left leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands. Open up through the heart. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Exhale and soften. Back heel plugs towards the back edge of the room. Lifting up through the outer ribs, up through the fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, hinging forward, reaching out through the fingertips towards the front edge of the mat. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale back to crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Back heel turns flat. Fingertips spread apart. Shoulders melt down the spine. Inhale. Exhale, sink deeper into the front thigh. Inhale, toes stay out. Heels go in, arms rise. Exhale, goddess squat. Inhale, straighten the legs, hands come up. Exhale, goddess squat. Inhale. Exhale. Full breath in, rise. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. Exhale through vinyasa. Again, picking up the foot before you step it all the way back. Your version of chaturanga or choosing to skip it and coming straight back to downward facing dog. Deep breath to reset. Bend the knees, look forwards. Step, jump or float, top edge of the mat, however you choose to travel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Take the pistols with your fingers. Pew, pew. You're going to wrap the pistol grip around the two big toes. So the middle and the index finger around the toe and then use the thumb to point towards the top edge of the mat. Give yourself two little... Thumbs up. Inhale, broaden through the collarbones. Drop the shoulders down the spine. Lift through the heart. And exhale, bend the elbows out to either edge of the mat and draw the chest towards the thighs. Relax the head, relax the neck. For those of you who can bring the belly towards the thighs. Enjoy that juiciness of the support through the spine as you breathe the belly into the thighs. Or if you'd like to, you can place a block in the hip crease and then fold over the block and then breathing into the block against the thighs. Removing the block if you've taken that option. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roots arise all the way to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Close the eyes and two deep breaths to reset. Blinking open the eyes. Inhale back to your chair pose, Utkatasana. 
exhale and fold, forward fold, hands through heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back through your vinyasa or choose to skip it and go straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, right toes to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, just step between the hands. Open up the heart. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, settle. Inhale as you tilt forward. Exhale, hold. Inhale back to crescent. Exhale, warrior two, back heel turns flat. Inhale, hands to the sky, toes out, heels in. Turn to the left edge of the mat. And then exhale, goddess squat. Inhale up, maybe the heels lift. Exhale, squat. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale to rise, exhale back to warrior two, inhale flip the front palm, reverse the warrior, option for half bind if you like that, and then exhale, right hand comes down, left hand cartwheels down and stepping back through your vinyasa. Inhale, open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, left, left toes go up. Exhale, step between the hands. Inhale to crescent lunge. Exhale and hold. Inhale, lift up through the fingertips, hinge forward. Exhale. Inhale, back to crescent, fingertips to the sky. And exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, turn to the right edge of the mat. Heels in, toes out. Exhale and squat. Hands to heart center. Inhale, rise. Maybe come up onto the toes. Exhale, squat. Inhale, rise. Maybe the corner edges of your mouth lift. Exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale as you flip the front palm. Reverse the warrior half buns there if you'd like to take it. Exhale, hands come down. Frame the front foot and step back vinyasa. Drop the knees down. Bring the hips back towards the heels. And take the hands behind you. Fingers face towards the front edge of the mat. And from here, we'll find a gentle baby camel. So option one is just to roll the shoulder blades together across the top of the back, lift up through the heart space. You can choose to stay here with the head forward. Maybe you'd like to drop the head back. Option two, maybe you start to lift the hips up. Or maybe the hips lift and the head gently tilts back. One more breath in. Exhale, the hips come back to the heels and find an upright position. Roll the shoulders up to the ears and then drop them down the spine. 
Inhale, pick them up. Exhale, drop them down. Drop the chin to the chest. And then gently tilt the head towards the right shoulder. Coming back through center. And dropping the left ear to the left shoulder. Coming back through center and lifting the chin away from the chest. Walking the hands back out, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your right foot to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, wild thing, stepping up and over to the outer edge of the left side of the mat, lowering the hips down. The right hand comes towards the left foot. And then as you inhale, lift the hips and open up through the heart. So you'll be on the blade edge of the left foot and the toes of the right foot. The right hand will be towards the front edge of the mat or opening out even more. Maybe you'd even like to take the right hand to the heart. Inhale. Exhale, step back through high plank. Full breath in. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest and chin. Keep the hips lifted. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left toes to the sky. Exhale, as you step up, over and behind, lowering down for wild thing. Right hand, left hand comes to the right foot. Inhale, as you lift the hips, open the heart. Inhale, exhale, step back over through high plank, lower the knees, lower the chest and the chin. Inhale, baby cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right toes to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. And then draw the right knee and the right toes all the way up. And then place the right knee behind the right wrist. The right ankle behind the left wrist and lowering down into your half pigeon. Find the sit bone on the right side. If you find that you're a little bit up like this and you're not quite down, please feel free to use a block or a prop and just sit down onto that. You'll find it so much more comfortable and supportive. I sometimes like to reach back with my right hand and grab onto the back of the left leg and lift up through the chest. When you feel open, you've looked back at the back foot and make sure that it's not completely out to the side. You can choose to stay upright. Maybe you'd like to come down onto the forearms, onto a block. The head can come down to the block. Or coming all the way down into your sleeping pigeon. And I haven't said it, but if you know that you have bad knees, always feel free to come onto your back for pigeon, just to make sure that you're not doing yourself any unnecessary harm. Self-love, guys. It's a real thing. Accepting wherever our body's at in every moment giving it time and permission to unfold on its own terms. Not when our brain wants it to. Walking the hands back into the body, planting the palms down, tucking the back toes under, lifting the right leg all the way up, back into that open hip, three-legged dog, counter pose. Then exhale, step the right foot back down to the left. Inhale, left toes go up. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip. The left knee comes out around and behind the left wrist. The left ankle comes behind the right wrist. Sinking down onto the hips. 
And again, finding whatever version feels right for you, making sure that you're dorsiflexing the left toes. Check back with the right leg, make sure it's not splaying out to the side. Choose to stay upright. Maybe you'd like a prop under your left hip this time. Or like I like to do, reach back with the left hand. Grab onto the outside of the right leg and open up through the chest. Inhale. Exhale, option to fold forward, sleeping pigeon. Give yourself permission to rest and soften further into the pose with every exhale. Walk the hands back into the body, lifting up through the heart, tucking the right toes under, and then inhale as you lift up through the left leg, opening up three-legged dog, bending the top knee, and then coming back to downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward, step or jump, malasana, top edge of the mat, feet come out, heels come in. Hands pressed together, chest lifts. Inhale. And then exhale, let's find our way onto our sit bones. All the way onto the back. It's time to cultivate to core. Your favorite time of the class. I know it, you know it, we all know it. Coming onto your back, bending through the knees. Hands come behind the head and lift up through the torso. Let's do tiny pulses, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet come down to the floor. Keep the chest lifted. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. You got this. Four, three, two. One, lift up the right leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Both feet come back up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, five, four, Three, two, one. Right foot comes down, left foot stays up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Both feet come down. One more. Ten, nine, eight, seven. You got it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One, hold, five, four, three, two, lift up even more, one, all around your back. Oh, extend the arms up, the feet all the way away. Mm, big juicy body on. Bending the knees, the heels come towards the sit bones. Feet are hip width, reaching down with the fingertips, tickling the heels, just to make sure you've got the right distance. If you would like to come into a supported bridge, please feel free to grab a block and place it underneath the sacrum. Or if you're with me, placing the palms down on the ground, rolling the shoulders together across the top of the back, lifting up through the heart. And then from here, pushing through the heels, starting to lift up through the hips. And then one vertebra at a time, rolling the hips up towards the sky as you come up on towards the shoulders. The palms can stay flat or you can interlace the palms together, the fingers together, and keep lifting the hips up. Energetically drawing the knees together. Inhale. 
Exhale, plug harder through the heels and keep drawing the knees together. Option to stay here, especially if you're in supported. Or if you'd like to come back down and find a knock knee position, feet come to either edge of the mat, draw the knees in, allow them to rest against one another like a teepee, and then one hand to the heart space, one hand to the belly. Or if you would like to invite a full wheel today and that's in your practice, fingertips towards the shoulders, elbows towards the sky, pushing through the heels of the feet and coming up either straight up or onto the, the crown of the head first and then straightening through the arms. Wherever you are, keep pushing through the legs. A lot of the time I see people like this in wheel and they've got more weight on their wrists than they do on their legs. So I want you to really push through the legs and open up through the underarms, through the chest. Find your variation. Use the breath. And then tuck the chin to the chest. Drop down onto the shoulders. And then rolling back down onto the back, hug the knees into the chest and gently roll from side to side. Shoulder stand is there if you'd like it. Hands come to the bottom ribs and the lower back and the knees come to the forehead as the hips lift up towards the sky. From here you can choose to straighten All the way up, keep opening up through the hips. Shoulder stand is a restorative pose, so try to really relax the breath here. Plow pose is there if you'd like to drop the feet over the head towards the floor. Or maybe even deaf man's dropping the knees around the ears. Releasing the hands, rolling the hips back down to the floor. Keeping the feet lifted towards the sky and we'll engage the core once more. <laughs> that kind of rhymed. We'll lower the legs down for 10, 9, 8. Lower back stays grounded. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All the way down. Hug the right knee to the chest and drape it across the body, looking back at the right hand. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Coming back through centre. Hugging both knees to chest. And then extending the right leg, left knee stays in. And then draping the left knee across to the right, looking back at the left hand. Inhale, come back to centre. Hug both knees to chest. Wrap the arms around the shins and lift the forehead to the knees. Give yourself a loving squeeze and hug. Thanking every cell in your body. And then gently expanding, finding your Shavasana. Taking up space. The feet roll out to either edge of the mat. The shoulders hug towards each other across the top of the back. Relaxing 
through every inch of the body. Giving yourself thanks, forgiveness and permission to rest. When you're ready, taking a deep breath. Filling up the pit of the belly. And then letting it go. Inhale, fill up completely. Hold the breath at the top. Kumbhaka, retention. Exhale, open the mouth and soften. Wiggling the fingers and the toes, the wrists and the ankles. Maybe gently rolling the head from side to side if that's there for you. Reaching up. The hands and the feet away from one another. Bending one knee, the other knee, and either turning onto one side or rock and rolling up into a seated position. Hands at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Eyes closed or downcast. Honouring the stillness that you've created inside of you. That clarity, that safe space to unfold and to exist completely unapologetically. Witnessing and harnessing your own power. Acknowledging its existence and then being able to integrate it into your life. Weaving it throughout your days. Thank you for your energy exchange with me today. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy with yourself, with the practice of yoga, with the journey of growth and personal expansion. From my heart to yours, namaste.